Hi everyone. I am doing a video today on something that's been highly requested on my Instagram. I did a little sneak peek a few weeks ago of this purchase that I made during the summer sale at Coach, the 50% off. And since then I've had a couple of folks asking me to do a review, which I certainly will. And today's review is on the Coach Rogue Satchel. I got this baby 50% off with the coach summer sale and I was just informed by one of my uh, sales associates at my local store that the sale has been extended to the first week of August so there's plenty of these babies still available and they're also available in like the chalk and the ox blood which is to die for but I went with the black and I'll explain why. Um, for those of you who have followed me for a while or seen my other videos you know that I'm all about the black bags, you know gothy funeral director and all. But this one I got partly because the strap, the removable shoulder strap, has a really nice shoulder pad on it. And because it's the same black and uh, Ouija board yellow color as the original Rogues, I can use that strap on this Rogue. For reference, this is the Coach Medium Rogue. This is like one of the classics, the originals. Again, Ouija color. You've seen this in a few videos. Um, the shoulder strap actually works really well on this if you want to use it as a longer shoulder bag or a crossbody because this shoulder pad does help to alleviate some of the weight. And also because I really like the way the Rogue looks with the straps hanging down in the front. So that allows me to use it as a shoulder bag or as a crossbody while still keeping that kind of punky, rocky, whatever <laughs> style with the straps hanging down. So <clears throat> again, I got the black one because I love the Ouija board combination. I love the black. And this one has the embellished handles with the whip stitch and it's in a nice burgundy contrasting color with the tassels coming down on both sides. And of course the dual color coach hang tag. I'm not sure if this is focusing. I can't really see my view screen too well right now mostly because I'm so pale and the sunlight coming in through the window is kind of ghosting me out and it's blinding me. <laughs> but yes, here's the, uh, the hang tag with the metal coach logo on it and the contrasting burgundy on the back to go with the burgundy whip stitching. And just as a warning, my cat's on the table so there may be a incoming uh, feline invasion happening in a moment. Brooch satchel. Oh, there, that camera bump was from Mina. The outside pockets are lined in the contrasting that yellow. Again, Ouija, I call it Ouija board yellow, but a lot of people actually call it, you know, nicer <laughs> things. And there's the incoming, there's the incoming fur beast. It's got the suede lining on both pockets. And it's also got the one I have has the suede on the inside as well. Um, these bags also come with the canvas lining, uh, like the regular Rogues, but the one that my store had, hi Mina, ultra Mina close up, happened to have the suede lining, which I really love. Again, it's very soft and squishy. <laughs> Giant kitty coming to get you all. And just like the original Rogue, it does have that Bonnie Kashin kiss lock pocket in the back. It's got the zipper compartment in the front lined with the, the typical rogue uh, canvas lining. And then, you know, story patch, credo. And one thing that this bag does have that the original rogue doesn't is a key leash attached right in there. So you can have, you know, obviously your keys or small leather good items. Um, that way you're not fishing around. One thing I like about this bag is the pocket space is much, much bigger than in the original rogue. So when I'm at work, if I have this on my desk, it's actually easier for me to kind of fish around and grab what I need from here. Even though this Rogue, you know, is still definitely my favorite to carry around and to use uh, this one in the olive green and black one that I have. But when, you know, you're stationary and you just want to grab in for your hand sanitizer or whatever, this is actually a little bit easier to dig around in. And the front pockets are pretty spacious too, so they're good for, you know, phones, keys, business cards, that kind of thing, just for a quick grab. Um, this one also has the feet on the bottom. And I really love this bag. Be the reason why I kind of suckered in and, and fell for it, 
uh, was because it looks so much like a doctor's bag. Uh, again, those of you who've seen my other videos, you know I'm totally into like doctor bag, plague doctor chic, hence my username. Uh, the first bag my mom got me, the, the top handle drifter. I love that because that's like my post-apocalyptic plague doctor bag. But this is my, this looks more like an old school doctor bag. And I actually refer to this one as my embalmer's bag because uh, that's just what it reminds me of. And it's fun and I enjoy it. It's very comfy to use. Uh, the handle clearance isn't as great as on the regular Rogue. So it is a little harder to kind of carry it on your wrist and, you know, do this deal. But it's very comfortable to carry by the handles. And it's super comfortable and it looks great when you're carrying it on your shoulder or crossbody as well. Um, again, super great quality, super wonderful bag. And I'm stoked that I got it 50% off. Um, I'll be honest, if it wasn't 50% off, I probably wouldn't have gotten it because it's so similar to my other very well-loved Rogue. But at half off, I had to get myself a little embalmer bag, especially because of the ox blood detailing on it just to make it a little different and also so I can get that multi-purpose shoulder strap that I can also use on my black rogue. So I'm getting all kinds of crazy and uh, interchangey with these things. But I love it. It's great having a few different options, again, based on weather, based on mood, based on what your objectives are for the day. Um, great options. Both of these bags are fantastic. You all know how much I love my original Rogue and how hardy it is based on the beautiful way it survived the downpour I was caught in the other day. And again, the suede, still perfect, still perfect. And I expect great things from this satchel bag as well. My little embalmer's bag. So here you go, Instagrammers. Here's, here's my little video demonstration of how awesome the Coach Rogue satchel is. Again, guys, check it out on the sale or at your local store. Um, they do come in chalk and the oxblood is beyond gorgeous. I was almost gonna get that one just because I don't have an oxblood bag. And again, it's gorgeous in the inside. The suede interior is red. It's a really beautiful, vivid red. But I had to go with my basic black because again, the strap is versatile. I can use it on my other Rogue because it matches perfectly and because I really loved the whip stitch detailing on uh, the handles with a little bit of a tassel. So I hope you enjoyed. Don't uh, forget to check out the 50% off sale still going on until uh, the beginning of August or so I'm told. And have a great day. Bye-bye.